Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here. And today we're here to talk about the Featherstone UL Granite two-person tent. So stay tuned. Alright, so I'm going to unbox this now or unbag it because as you can see I haven't taken it out of the thing yet. Um, <clears throat> So I was looking around on the internet because I already have a one-person tent that I really like. It's really lightweight, um, but it sits really low to the ground. So if you see my last few camping videos, you'll know that I like it, but it's really small. And um, I've also really been needing a two-person tent so that when Baby Glock goes with me, um, we don't have to take the big six-person tent in order to, uh, you know, satisfy us all because that's a 15-pound tent. Now this one, as you see it right now with everything included, is six pounds. But it's, you can set it up in three different ways, and that way you can reduce the weight from six pounds to five pounds, and then down to like a little over three, I believe. Um, so let's take a look at it, and then I'll go over the specs after I get it set up so you can see what it looks like, and we can also see uh, what it's like to get it set up. Obviously, it comes in its own stuff sack, so that's good. You got the little feather stone here hold on see the camera uh, gonna give you the setup instructions and obviously the features hopefully you can read that um, all right so let's get it unbagged and see what we got oh yeah and I like this because you could set it up in three different ways to change the weight um, because when I'm actually going on a backpack and trip in a, uh, less than a week and so this will actually be perfect because I can test out over a couple of days the different ways of setting it up and sleeping in it to see how that goes. All right. Now this is kind of cool. I haven't had a tent that actually has a uh, nylon strap like this to buckle it to keep it together. So that's pretty cool. So anytime you do anything, always unbag it or I'll take your stuff sacks and everything. I always put them in the regular bag let's unroll this 10 stakes or uh 10 poles let's see what we've got here 12 aluminum stakes with guy lines and i do believe these are reflective so that is always good especially at night when you're walking around and you uh, don't want to trip over the lines from your tents extra guy lines here always nice Check out the poles. Okay, good lightweight aluminum pole, so that's pretty cool. And obviously it's stuff sack to go with it. Hey, tactical pup, back up there, buddy. And also in the bag, and this is another thing that I love. It actually comes with a footprint, which I believe this is what this is. Uh, because, you know, normally I always have to pack an extra tarp and it does never fit exactly the size of the tent. So you're having to fold it in a bunch of different directions in order to figure out uh, the best way to set it up. So that will be perfect. All right. Now, let me move the camera around so we can set this up. I'm not even going to look at the instructions. I'm just actually going to uh, lay it out and see if I can do it without um, looking at the instruction. That's way we know how intuitive it is and easy to set up. So hold on just a second. All right, so here we go. I just laid out the footprint and now we're just going to go from there. I apologize if you can hear the neighbors, they talk kind of loudly. <laughs> now, doing this for a couple reasons. One is just obviously to show you how easy or not easy it may be to set it up without looking at instructions. So, um, but also two, 
because it's always important to, as they say, uh, try before you fly. So since I'm going on a backpacking trip soon, uh, I want to be familiar with setting it up and not having to learn it while I'm out in the field. Um, but as you can see, right now I got the rain fly and then the main body of the tent with plenty of this uh, no see -um mesh. And so if you wanted to, you, ha you know you have a clear night, you can set it up just like this. And that's going to save you uh, a good deal of weight. Um, and then, or you could set it up with just the floor or like the uh, footprint and the rain fly. And that way you eliminate this whole body of the tent. And that way that gets you to your lowest weight. So that I'm going to try it. Uh, a couple different ways on this uh, next trip and uh, obviously I'm going to take you along and film that so for now and I'm not going to do this real tight just because I'm just setting it up just to give it a try and see what it's like unless it just proves to be that easy and that would be awesome Pop together right pretty easy. mention I do believe that this is also a freestanding tent so you wouldn't need the stakes if you're trying to cut weight um, and as you can see there that was pretty easy to figure out didn't even look at the instructions so go meet typical guy doing something without reading the instructions first That's easy enough. So, as you can see, hopefully it does have doors on both sides. You do have a hook up here in the middle, right here, so you can hang a light if you wanted to. Uh, that's what I always do. Um, and obviously you can sleep with it just like this, like I said before, if you know you're gonna have a clear night and you want really good airflow because you know you're going to have good warm weather 
um, be able to look at the stars while you're sleeping. That's always a nice little bonus. And sorry about the car. I have a frequent problem with my neighbors always wanting to come outside and do stuff while I'm trying to film. <laughs> All right, so once you get which way the <laughs> rain fly goes on, actually, now, as you can see here, I can take out these doors, get some extra 
ventilation here. And as you can see here, you have tie out points here and here. It's the same on the other side. So that way uh, you can get it even more taut if you wanted to, especially if you know that there's going to be rain. You have these ventilation spots right here where it comes folded in, but you can just stick it out velcro it now you got extra ventilation through this mesh pocket right here stick this one out and we'll just do one more on the other side And I guess while I'm at it, I might as well go ahead and do the other side, right? <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, tactical pup had left some presents over there that I didn't see before, so I don't want to get that on my tent before I go. But yeah, just give you a quick walk around. Like I said, I could put, make it a little bit more taut just so you get a uh, better rain, rain runoff. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's supposed to rain. I believe maybe tomorrow or the next day uh, today's Wednesday so yeah I think on Friday it's supposed to rain so what I'm gonna do is leave it out during the rain so I can test the waterproofness before I go um, if it ends up for some reason not raining which very little odds of that happening because it's been raining here for months and months um, but yeah this way I can come out test the waterproofness before I go and then pack it up and I'll know what I'm getting starting off with um, all right, just to give you the specs of it, what I liked about it and why I got it. It is 84 inches long and 51 inches wide and goes up in height to 43 inches. The Rainfly is a 75 denier ripstop polyester with 3000 millimeter polyurethane hydrostatic, hydrostatic rated coating. The floor is a 210 denier nylon with the same 3,000 millimeter polyurethane coating. Um, it does come with the no mesh. Um, and like I gave you the weights on it before. So yes, the floor should be very durable. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. I really love the fact that it has a footprint. And also, I didn't point this out earlier, but when you're attaching the rain fly, you have buckles right here that make it a whole lot quicker and easier so that is always nice and yeah stay tuned the next uh, scene will be me in the field or either on friday when it rains i do have the day off since it is good friday um so i may film a little bit of that showing you how the white rain is and then when it stops uh give you a good idea of the waterproofness all right stay tuned all right, so one of the things I noticed, I thought I'd bring you back real quick. Um, as I was rolling up the doors, you do have these little toggles on each one. As you can see, you can do it to both sides. All four flaps will roll up. You do have these toggles here so you can roll up the mesh doors. But what I was really wanting to point out is this right here. Uh, this is where those uh, middle poles go into. And so as you can see, hopefully, it now pulls the mesh pretty tight so that you get a good uh, space in between or 
you know what I'm trying to say. Make it taut on the inside as well as on the outside. Uh, so pretty cool. I mean, there is Velcro on the outside of the zippers, so it helps keeps the flaps closed and a little more secure. Um, these are your other tile points. I was thinking that at first you probably could if you didn't want to roll up the doors, at least on one side, to make it more taut on one thing. But you got one on each side here. Um, so you can definitely pull your corners out with the included guidelines, the extra ones. Um, this is what it looks like with just the one door. And I do like that there's two doors, and so each person can get out on their own side. And for me, this would be perfect because I can easily keep my gear in here because the vestibule, as you see, come up far enough, you could put a pack here if there's two of you. Um, or if you're just like me, you're by yourself, you can keep you and your gear in there, and it will all fit easily. All right, guys, one last walk around, and I am excited about this one. So stay tuned, and I will show you how it works. Well, it rained all day on Friday. It's rained part of the day today. So you can see how muddy it is. I just took the rain fly off, and 100% bone dry. Got a little on here just from taking off the rain fly. But, yep, it's going to do, take out any amount of rain. And because, like I said, it rained a lot and it rained for a day and a half because it's Saturday today. And <laughs> it's coming back again, so I got to get the rest of the tent in the house. But, thumbs up. All right, so this is a setup of the tent without the body of it. It is just the footprint and the rain fly and four stakes. Uh, so, you have an idea. Pretty roomy, and obviously lots of ventilation and airflow. Um, great for backpacking, but definitely for warmer weather. So you definitely have no issues with getting too hot and baking in your tent like I've done before. Um, so this is the way I'm gonna be sleeping tonight. Uh, it'll be probably colder than I would like for this kind of setup, but I really wanna test it out. Um, but at the same time, I don't think it's going to be very windy. It's been almost no wind all day today. So as long as that's the case, it will be no big deal. If it does get too windy or too cold like, like that, I can always bring in the rest of the body of the tent. But just wanted to show you the setup and what it's going to look like. And I did this mostly because I'm getting ready to lay down and take a nap. Yes, that's right. Take a nap. Something I almost never do. But I think I've earned it today. And... And there's nothing else going on out here. There's no one else out here, so why not just relax? All right, guys, back to you when I get up. All right, so back from camping, and I got to say, tent was outstanding. Uh, I slept in it one night with the full setup. The next day, I wasn't uh, able to stick around and stay a full night for the second day, but I was able to take a good nap in the afternoon with just the footprint in the rain fly. And I gotta say it worked excellent for that. Um, as you saw in the short video clip, it was extremely waterproof, so did a really good job there. So yeah, I gotta say, highly recommend it guys. Um, there will be a coupon code down in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Um, like I said, I mean, this is for the full setup carrying a six pound tent, which I did for quite a long ways backpacking. Um, is gonna be a bit heavy, so you can obviously set it up three different ways. You can reduce the weight to just the footprint and the rain fly, which would make it three pounds and pretty ideal at that weight. Uh, so that's probably if I got to go backpacking, that's how I'll set it up. And then if I'm car camping, you got the option, you know, the other two options that you can use. So guys, definitely check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below as well. Uh, so yeah, guys, I think this is going to be a good deal for the price. You can't go wrong. Uh, yeah, it's everything I need. It fit me and my gear perfectly with plenty of space. I could even sit up all the way, like if my butt was on the ground and sit up like this and still had a little extra room overhead. So getting changed uh, inside was completely easy. Had a lamp hanging or a lantern hanging on the inside so I could read while I was going to bed. Oh yeah, and I don't think I mentioned there are two mesh pockets in opposite corners. So that way a good way to store your phone or some other small gear. Uh, and I think it's gonna be really durable. I mean, that the Floor, the bathtub type floor is uh, very well appears to be very durable only time's gonna tell more but you, you can just feel more of a heavy-duty uh, kind of feeling to it so I'm impressed and I think you will be too all right guys 
In the meantime, be prepared, have fun, and check out the Featherstone.